Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Express New Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and you are joining me for part two of what started out to be partially a ring pour and has turned into ev an everything, uh, a kitchen sink painting we'll call it. <laughs> and I think it would be very smart of me to go ahead and set my timer before the camera shuts off at 20 minutes and in 17 minutes I will know where this is going. I hope. <laughs> And I'm just going to pick up on colors that I have in here that I like now. And use, it's time for pulling out the skewer. I've had the chain out. I like that black in here, which is some of the only original color. I love leading paint with the skewer. I love spiraling paint, Ooh, which reminds me. There's quite the need for a spiral up there. You can use the sharp end to push things up or pull them out. I like spiky stuff. I bet you can tell. I have quite a bit of thick paint, which reminds me to tell you that I always put GAC 800 by Golden into my pre-mixed bottles of paint. That way, when it dries, it won't crack. And that's what GAC is for, to keep the paint from cracking. I have some purple on this end that you can't see right now, and I would like it to go over. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna do that. I kinda like a lot of stuff about this, I really, really do. Um, I keep doing things spontaneously. Trying to do things I haven't done before to make things a little more outside of my norm. And that's that's not a bad thing. I do have quite a bit of thick paint where I did start my ring pours. I'm gonna wipe off my basting brush. They're from Walmart, by the way. know what this is. Kind of reminds me of a garden at the moment with the green. And I like that uh, that little spot right there. Where's my pink? It made me think of a flower. I'm not sure it's going to stay though now that I see it. I'm not as impressed. But a little red never hurt anything. And uh, that's what skewers are for. If the paint is too thick, it'll just dissipate and be sucked right into it anyway. So that's kind of cute. I like that. Let's do it again. With different colors. It doesn't matter to me that there is a little bit of paint on the skewer, although I do kind of think I want there to be. Yeah, why not? <laughs> a flailing, a flailing flower stem. some more spiky stuff, which may or may not stay. I like throwing a little miscellaneous texture in there. Um, getting to the point where I don't think I want to go too much further, but I really want my little tiny bottle of black. And I think that this is straight fluid acrylics with no pouring medium in it. And I want to see what's going to happen. That's kind of different. I like it. <laughs> I doubt whether it's going to stay, to be honest with you. But we'll get something out of it, for sure. Let's see. 
let the eye move around a little bit. I think I have one of these, not like this. I think I have a small bottle, I mean, with uh, some gold in it. And that might be fun too. Let's see, did I find it over here? Yes, I've got my gold. Actually, I've got two bottles of gold. One looks a lot more gold color than the other. Whoa, that's not what I expected. Okay, well, it's what I got. <laughs> deal with it. That's what I got. Not for you to deal with so much as for me to deal with right now. And uh, That's very fluid. I think that's okay. I don't mind that. Kind of just makes me want to see if I can keep some all over the place. I don't know. I think it's time to torch and find out. I think this piece has got a mind of its own, and that's the way it's going to be. I'll be cleaning some tools after this in a minute. We've got 11 minutes left. On the clock. Let's see what happens. I use a propane torch instead of a butane torch because I went through four or five butane torches from $15 to $50 and uh, they all clogged up on me. You know what? I really like that flower there, but I want an orange center. And do I want to do something similar or do I want to pull that out? Yeah, make it a little less uniform. So we are getting some cells popping with the heat from the torch, which also releases the bubbles in the paint, which is the main reason to use the torch. You have to be a lot careful with the propane torch because it can be very hot if you're not cautious enough to turn it down to begin with, and I have been there and done that. Uh, you can add some, some more paint to a fried area and uh, save some things. I really, I just love spirals. What can I say? You can't stop me. I'm not, I'm not ever going to stop putting spirals in my paintings. So it is what it is. And I see my black is not completely covering that edge for whatever reason. So I'm going to add some while I see it. And I've got some white pearl. Do I? Yes. <laughs> right down here. And I like that right there. Yeah. All right, so I'm pretty happy about this. It, uh, it looks extraordinary. It doesn't look like everything else I've done, which is pretty much, which was pretty much always the point. Anyway. I'm trying to use my basting brush in new ways, too. And, uh... And I'm quiet sometimes because I need to focus. I wonder about this in here. I have some gold here somewhere. Do I want some more gold? Maybe a little bit will tell me a lot. I love waggling my skewer almost as much as I love spiral things out, spiraling things out. Also, the dull end of the skewer will give you dots, which I love. I love my dots. I'm just, I'm getting freer and freer and um, enjoying myself more and more. As time goes on, discovering what I can do. And I want to say thank you guys for joining me. It should be roughly 48,000 plus of you by now. And uh, subscriptions make me seeing people subscribe and hearing that I'm helping you guys get inspired makes me happy. I love to have your comments. I appreciate your donations. If you donate through PayPal and Patreon, there will be four paintings to choose from this month as long as it's before February 28th, 2019. The links are below the video and also on my uh, Facebook, excuse me, <laughs> on my YouTube adder. 
Facebook on the Brain. I have Facebook albums full of wet and dry artworks from YouTube at the bottom of the description. And there's PayPal and Pinterest. Links there also. I'm loving seeing what's happening here. I'm going to have to try and turn it around for you so you can see what I can see before I'm done. I do sell my art. If you're interested in a piece of art, please just contact me through the comments section of YouTube. My edges are somewhat covered. They're mostly covered, actually. I'm, I'm glad I put some paint on there first. I'm surprised I said that, but that's the truth. I've got some paint I can still hear. It sounds like I'm going to need a new torch soon. Not a torch head, just a torch. Just, excuse me, just a tank. Stop that. <laughs> Fortunately, I keep a spare. That is so noisy. So this is an unusual composition, and that's cool. In the last 20 seconds of the video, you will find a link to my website, a link to subscribe, a link to the playlist of, uh, of all of my videos, and the video that will show you the, um, the prizes for this month's drawing. It's a, it's a video that includes a bunch of 18 by 24 inch artworks I did. And what else? Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, please. I really appreciate the thumbs up. If you like what I do, uh, it helps my placement on YouTube. And, and um, I really, really appreciate the thumbs up. I want some more black over here because it's not coming right over the edge. And I can fake it <laughs> perfectly. I like those dots there. I like the accidental aspect of things, and I love combining it with some abstract expressionist artwork. And I just turned that around for you. And I think I have told you almost everything I can tell you. Yeah, I told you the recipe was under. Don't forget that the, uh, the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas are in the Amazon link when you shop there. I got a couple of edges, a, little, a couple of white spots to touch up, but otherwise, Mostly, I gotta be moving on to the next painting because I still got, check it out, that much paint left. That's embarrassing. Anyway, I should know better. <laughs> but I don't, so it doesn't matter. I do see <laughs> right down there that I have, I have some paint that doesn't continue over the side and I didn't do anything to it and I kind of don't mind that I didn't do anything to it. And I would add some more, but I don't think it needs it. All right, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery going, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and for making my channel such a success. And I will see you in the next video. This is Priscilla saying, Priscilla out, duh. Okay, bye now. <laughs>